right, guys, we're gonna get out here and fire this up, the and cheer for the range test. So let's just get to it. All right, guys, here we go, and cheer. <laughs> I just get a kick out of that. Let me move this up a little hair. Okay, so. Well, when I was coming down here to the car from the garage, I was trying to run the the inch here, here pedaling without turning on the battery. And you can actually ride this thing without turning turning it on. I might do. I might test that out one day. This one here, this thing here seems to pedal pretty easily without the the thing being turned on. You know what I mean? So, I don't remember the Jetson pedaling anywhere close to as easy as this. So, I don't know if it's gearing or, you know, what the situation is. But, uh, yeah, I was just riding it in the parking lot with no battery at all. So... That, uh, that's a pretty good sign if you get out there stranded somewhere where it's flat, of course. Where it's hills, you're, you know, you're dead in the water there. Uh oh, they got a big crane over there. I wonder what's happening. But anyway, here we go. Now you're gonna see a lot of discrepancy in the speed on this uh, on this app. That is because you know I'm running in and out of cover in between these buildings and all this, uh, so this GPS cuts in and out a lot. So that's why you see those numbers jumping around so much. You know, you go in between these office buildings, like this one right here, these things are seven, eight stories high. So when I'm right up against them, it's basically blocking everything. So they'll, the numbers get all jumbled around, but it looks like I'm getting like 17 pretty steady if I, if I hold it open. Uh, all the way, I'm getting like 17 miles an hour. That's what it seemed like. I did a couple of tests on this already. Now I ordered the rack you know, the new rack to hold the battery of the scooter, the bad scooter battery that I'm gonna put on here. Yeah, this thing definitely gets up the hills easier than the Jetson. You know, that's not even in question. Yeah, you see, we just came through this little area and, and it was pretty steady on the speed. Give me a wing, an early wing. <laughs> They're close still. It's, uh, I think it's only nine something or another, 9.30 maybe. But they're pouring into Popeyes, that's for sure. I mean, Dunkin' Donuts. And Dollar General Family Dollar's open already.
Okay, I see him from here, so he's gonna go down there and take a little break. So I'll go to the other side for a while. I don't want to give him no excuse to bother me. actually working over here today. Holy crap, I see the crane going up. Oh, they're putting a new AC unit on or something.
Alright guys, I'm gonna stop over here for a minute for my little drink of water. The app says I've done 4.8 miles, as you see. So hey, we're rolling along here. I'm gonna definitely have to put that Cloud 9 seat on here because this seat is a killer, man. you stopping there's nobody here <laughs> I I make up the rules as I go <laughs> no. I'm leaning back on the seat quite a bit because of trying to save my my ass from being destroyed by the Angier. <laughs> You're gonna come over here and get a picture of the Angier by the Popeye side. That'd be a good thumbnail, right? Indeed. Indeed, I did get a good photo. As long as I don't wipe out there. Okay, let's get back to it. That cop's still sleeping over there. So we're not going to disturb him any. So I've picked up some kind of tick on the tire, so I have to stop and investigate that for a sec. Maybe something must be stuck to the tire or something. in there looks good to me
Oh, I think it was that little rock I picked out of there. Yeah. All right, that works. Okay, so we are, according to the app that I'm looking at, the odometer app, according to that, it says six miles so far. Boy, I'll tell you what, guys, believe it or not, it is not easy doing these range tests out here. Okay, so just so you know that, this is not an easy thing to ride around in a parking lot in circles like this for two hours. Okay, this is kind of a pain. I think I'm gonna take this out to the to the trail next week. I think I'll go out to uh, you know maybe the Boston Trail. Make it easy on me. <laughs> go out to the Boston Trail and then go out uh, to the graveyard, the cemetery, and stuff like that. Go out that way. Riding around in this parking lot over here is because it's kind of smooth. You know, this is kind of like one of the smoother areas around here. And plus there's no, uh, there's not that many obstacles. Not at this time, you know. You're not getting that traffic or nothing yet, so. Okay, so far on the app it says seven miles. What's up, man? To get your truck back?
That was, I had to stop there to see my buddy, the security guard. <laughs> it's, all, it's always good to have the security guard as your friend when you're over here flying drones and uh, riding bikes. Well, the bikes, there's nothing they can do about that, but they probably could give me some stink about flying the drones if he wanted, but he won't because I gave him one, okay, to play with in his backyard, so. So I've got all, I've got all those bases covered now. I mean, I don't make a lot of videos over here, but I do fly over here to, you know, over to the auto parts store, just to usually check. Usually I use this area right here when I'm flying the drones to check when after I do the updates you know if I want to just fly around regular I just go to the park but if I just want to check these updates usually I'll just do it right over here because actually it's a pretty it's a pretty uh, big area you just if you get past the buildings and all that you know you don't have to come between the buildings you can go around the buildings <laughs> excuse me but it winds up it's actually a pretty big area you just got to stay above the street poles the street lights there and stay away from the buildings it's a pretty decent area to fly the drones on so yeah, i think those poles are like 58 feet high i think that's what i got it figured out at 58 feet So the bars went down, now the two bars now. Uh-oh, oh, it went back up to three. Okay. We're at nine miles. Getting a little shaky. Getting a little shaky here. Guys, I'm gonna go down here and take me a little five minute break at the picnic tables. It says exactly 10 miles so far. All right, I'm gonna cut the video for a bit. All right, guys, we're still we're still trucking. We are at 14.1 miles. And yeah, so everything's going good. We still got a little bit of battery left. So this has already went further than the Jetson ever did. So, okay, I'll be happy we get 16 out of this sucker. All right, I'll check back in in a minute.
All right, guys, here's another update. I'm at 16.2, and I got, it's this, it's this other bar just came up. It's really only one bar. It just now popped back up to two, okay? So, yeah, it's really only one bar, so it's, it's getting close. All right, guys, we're coming to a close here. It's at 16. I just actually stopped a couple minutes ago, but here's the problem the last bar is flashing and that's the sign of it's over okay now i don't see any really slow down in the speed any but when that light starts flashing that this thing could just quit at any second so so hey you know 16 miles 16 something i'm happy with that because uh, let's see what I got on the stock Jetson was 12.8 was the max I was ev ever able to go with the Jetson. Yeah, it's slowing down a little bit now. I can feel it. Um, so, yeah. 12.8. Um, yeah, it's dying right now. Okay, so we're going to get our butts home. Yeah, it's creeping down to 10 miles an hour now. So I'm going to let off the throttle and just do some pedal assist here. Yeah, 12.8 was what I got with the Jetson. And um, I got 16 something so far with this. I'll stop and get the total mileage here in a second. We'll stop under the picnic table and just do it here. It was just a couple seconds ago that I stopped and did that little update. And then as soon as I took back off, that last bar popped up. Yeah, I don't want to ruin the battery because I don't know if it has a cut off or anything. It, I'm just not sure. Okay, so we're at 16.9, which is, I'm um, real happy with that. We're just going to finish that up, finish the activity. Yeah, so great. 16.9, wow. I'm happy. I'm happy with that for sure. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, man. Have a nice day. That's all, folks.